Hello everyone. Question number nine in this exercise 4.3 is a multiplied by a minus 2 minus b multiplied by b minus 2. If we solve it, it is a square minus 2a minus b square plus 2. Now we can take a square minus b square on one side and minus 2 we can take common it is a minus b as minus 2a plus 2b can be written as 2 multiplied by a minus b. This factor can be written as a minus b multiplied by a plus b. Now this is one factor minus 2 into a minus b. We can take a minus b as common in these two terms the remaining becomes a plus b minus 2. So this is the factorization of this question. This is also the same as this. It is a square minus a minus b square plus b. We can write it as a square minus b square. Here it was minus 2a plus 2b. Here it is minus a plus b. So if I take minus 1 common, it becomes a minus b. So this can be written as a minus b multiplied by a plus b. Then minus 1 into a minus b. If I take a minus b common in both the terms, it is a plus b minus 1. In this question, now till now we are having two perfect squares. These all these questions are also having two perfect squares, but here it is very much clear that this is a perfect square because this is given in brackets. Here we have to analyze that if this is a perfect square, this is also a perfect square and this is also a perfect square, but we have to look at the term which is different. It is not a perfect square, so it should be a combination of two terms. And from this we can analyze that this is a combination of this and this. So we can take this as a perfect square. So this can be written as 3 square minus, it is x square minus 2xy plus y square. And this is also a perfect square. So this is 3 whole square minus, this is x minus y whole square. Again use the same identity. This is 3 minus x minus y in the first bracket and 3 minus x plus 3 plus x minus y as the second bracket. So this is 3 minus x plus y as the first factor and 3 plus x minus y as the second factor. It is very clear in this question that this we will have to take as a perfect square. So this is 3x square whole square minus this can be written as x plus 1 to the whole square. So this is 3x square minus x plus 1 as one factor and 3x square plus x plus 1 as another factor. So 3x square minus x minus 1 is one factor and 3x square plus x plus 1 as the another factor. Again, I told you that this is a perfect square, this is a perfect square, and this is a perfect square. But we have to look at another term. From this we can analyze that which perfect square we have to take as one term. It is a combination of x and a combination of 6. So these two we will mingle with this and this we will take as a perfect square. This can be written as 3x square whole square minus this whole term can be written as x square plus 12x plus 36, which is actually x plus 6 whole square. And this is 3x square whole square. The same identity we use, it is 3x square minus x plus 6 as a bracket and 3x square plus x plus 6 as a bracket. So the answer is 3x square minus x minus 6 and 3x square plus x plus 6. Again, this is not a perfect square, this is not a perfect square, this is not a perfect square, and this is also not a perfect square. Because in all the terms there is no perfect square, then the best way is to take something common. In these two terms, if I take x square common, it becomes x minus 5. Here, if I take minus 1 common, again it becomes x minus 5. In these two terms, I can take x minus 5 as common and the remaining value becomes x square minus 1. 
x square minus 1, we can use this identity. This can be written as x minus 1 and x plus 1 because both of them are the perfect square. So the answer is x minus 5 as one factor, x minus 1 as another factor, and x plus 1 is another factor. Again, in this case, this is a perfect square. This is a perfect square. This is not a perfect square, and this is also a perfect square. Now, we have to analyze from this that which values we have to take as a perfect square, which not. It is comprising of p square and comprising of 1. So these two can be mingled with, and this can be written as a square to the whole square minus p to the power 4 minus 2b square plus 1. This is a perfect square of p square minus 1. So a square whole square minus b square minus 1 whole square. This can be written as a square minus in a bracket b square minus 1 and a square plus in a bracket b square minus 1. So further I can solve a square minus b square plus 1 as the first part and a square plus b square minus 1 as the second part. In this question, there are only two terms. We can definitely take common first of all. It is x minus square minus 25 is the remaining factor. So this can be used as an identity x minus 5 and x plus 5 as the two factors in this question. This is a very simple question in comparison of these questions. This must be as question number 1 or 2, but in this exercise, it is in question number 12. In the next class, we will talk about the questions later. But if in case you have any problem or any doubt, you can email or contact us. Thank you.